So going to show you how to make Sepa Kanaga curry. This is taro. You can see it's not the prettiest of vegetables and this is how it, you get it from the uh, Indian store. Uh, but the first trick is to peel it off. Normally we just cook it in a pressure cooker and then peel it off. But um, a friend recently tried to do it with just a peeler first and then cut it into cubes and make a curry. So I'm going to try that method. You can see that even after you peel this guy, you will, uh, it is not, it still got a lot of spots like like what you're seeing here this won't go so um, you will have to take that out with a knife after you do the peeling um, this is a root so um, invariably where the the worms took a, a shot at it you will find spots like this uh, it's a lot worse than potatoes but that's what you have to go through okay so the thing has been peeled but now we have to use a knife to clean up uh, the parts that you can't even peel off and then slice it into little boxes. Unlike cutting a potato, this guy is not so easy to cut because your knife sticks to it. And also this, this taro gives out like a goopy substance as you cut it. So your hands feel like uh, they're covered with slime. But trust me, it's worth it. At the end of this, uh, this tastes a lot better than uh, your normal uh, potato curry. So you got to do this, uh, it's a painful process and sometimes the taro gives you a curveball where you have like a, a divot like that. So you have to take your time to cut this and then uh, get it. So one thing, I, one thing I am doing is after I cut the pieces, I am putting it in, a, uh, in water which has some turmeric in it. Because this is a tuber and it has been in the ground and uh, turmeric it is a good antiseptic. You are better off just soaking it in turmeric water for some time and then uh, starting to make the curry. Okay, so this thing has been soaking for like 5 minutes. So next step is to get a pan. Um, I put lots of oil because I am practically going to roast this thing. And uh, once the oil is ready to go, I have here some curry leaves. And I'm going to use some mustard seeds and some uh, dal uh, to basically go with it. And then I'm going to use some uh, hing, uh, which is also a saffordita, and uh, some more turmeric powder, some salt, and some chili powder to go with this. And then I'm going to fry it. Okay, so the oil is hot. So now I'm going to put some of this dal you can see that the dal is ready to turn brown very fast now I'm going to throw some of the mustard seeds okay. put some hing in there Turmeric powder, and finally the curry leaf. If you are not used to this, get a spatter guard. Now this is perfect. I got the stove at really low heat. Don't need the oil. Now comes the tricky part. You have to separate this out. And there's going to be a lot of uh, gooey stuff that comes out. I'm going to do this. All the goopy stuff's coming out now. You can see that it's almost like a continuous thing. It's not liquidy, it's like more like glue. Now 
most of it come up that's it now it's ready to go here I'm gonna make a racket now there you go Stuff, so and you'll have a big cleaning job on your hands at the end of this but again like I said before it's totally worth it now for some salt and I leave how much salt to your taste this is gonna be very spicy This is, you can use chili powder or sambar powder, either one works. And now just make sure that this mixes well. You can see that it is still gooey, but don't worry, after some time it will roast nicely. No need to add any water on this, just let it sit at medium heat for like 25 minutes and keep turning it. The end result will be good. Okay, so this thing has been sitting there for like 15 minutes now. It's time to flip it over. And you can see that it's already starting to get roasted nicely. A little too dark for my taste. So I should have come here a little early. But it's getting there. So we have to keep doing this a few times in the next 10-15 minutes. And then it will be nicely roasted on all sides. And the last step in the process is to basically give it a whirl. I think it's done. It's nicely roasted and it's almost uh, nicely roasted. So I have a, I usually put it on a bounty towel to drain all the excess oil. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so there you have it. Hope you have fun making this. And by the way, the procedure for making okra curry is exactly the same. Uh, except you don't have to put it in a turmeric water. You just put it in water. And once you kind of clean off the gooey stuff that comes, you can fry it the same way. Um, hope this was helpful. You have to peel it bare without, Mama. you know. Okay. Come on, you can do it. That's or no?